crazy subscriber, this is Joe King John 64 and today people, I'll be teaching you guys how to do the best class setup for the Rampart 17. If you guys did not know yet, I did manage to pull off 100 kills in a single gameplay with this weapon. It was quite crazy, it was insane, and the reason why is because I called in all my kill streaks more than 5 times. And thanks to this weapon because it was making high amount of damage. So uh, I want you guys to check out the gameplay. I did pull off some crazy kills back to back and all that stuff. So I want you guys to learn you know, the way I use this weapon because it's quite difficult to control. Especially with the recoil. So I'll be putting the link in the description. If not, you guys can just click on my main channel. And click on the one with a thumbnail that says 100 kills on it. You know, you can't miss it. It's the one with the big ass green letters. So go check out the video and learn the way I use this weapon because it's difficult to control. So moving on to some tips and tricks about this weapon. First things first, the, the biggest thing you got to worry about this weapon, it has to be the recoil. The recoil is really difficult to control, but once you get at the pattern of it, it's an instant kill right away. And let me tell you guys why. The way the recoil climbs up in this weapon is from the bottom to the left side. So it goes bottom, up, left. That's the way it goes for me. You know, for some other people, it goes some other ways. Maybe everybody has a different pattern, but for my pattern, it goes from the bottom to the left. I control this kind of pattern by aiming a little bit lower. I mean, who doesn't do that with every single kind of high recoil weapon? But I aim a little bit lower and then I just like try to control it more to the right. So I kind of like aim my analog stick to more to the right side so I can control the recoil a little bit more so it can go a little bit more straight. So once that happens, the bullets just like make instant penetration from the chest to the head. And now uh, the reason why that's kind of like a good combination with the way I have this gun set up is because of the attachments. See, let me start off with the first attachment though. The first attachment that I have with it, it, is, it is the holographic side. Now the reason why I have it like that is because I personally feel more comfortable with it and I feel like I can see like more of the open field and more of a little zoom that kind of gives me a clear shot towards the enemy. So it's actually like whatever you feel comfortable with, you can add whatever attachment you want in that one. But I personally have the optic set up to holographic with the cross sight, by the way. Moving on to the next attachment, which will be high caliber one and high caliber two. Now with this combo, it makes the upper body up to the head act like it was a total headshot. So with that increase in damage into the upper body and the headshot, it's just an automatic kill within like three to four bullets. So it does saves you a lot of ammo. You can drop at least three bodies per magazine. As far as I know, you don't need the foregrip. Once you start learning the recoil, it's an instant kill. You become a boss out there from long range combat and medium range combat, and you will be unstoppable. So just learn the recoil, and you should be just fine with that, especially with a high caliber one, which increases the headshot damage, and high caliber two, which increases the body damage. So. Learn the recoil right away, no problem man, it will become no problem out there in the battlefield for you. Now the next attachment which is quite important, which is called the long barrel. This attachment actually makes the bullet hit the enemy a lot more faster than usual. Now it doesn't increase the fire rate though, but it makes the bullet appear more faster towards the enemy which means more of an instant kill right away. If you guys face one guy who is holding a vapor or something like or the other one the Maddox, this weapon should be able to hit the bullets first because you have the long range barrel. So that's exactly one of the descriptions of the long barrel. It increases damage fall off ranges and also when you shoot from far, far away the damage stays consistent. The weapon still keeps the same amount of damage because if you start shooting without the long barrel from long range, you're going to make less damage and the high caliber kind of washes away. This is why the long barrel is quite important with this weapon because if you don't have it, the high caliber is for nothing. So with this triple combination, it makes this gun super deadly. It kind of acts like it was an automatic assault rifle combined with a sniper. So that's why I have it set up like this. Moving on to the next stuff, which will be the gear. I have the cosmic device, but you guys can use whatever you want. On the perk system, I want you guys to have, at least on perk number two, the gung ho. The reason why you want the gung ho is because it actually increases their chances in winning in close range combat. You see, once you got the hit fire going up first, for some reason, you will make the damage first right away and the enemy will drop dead. It's kind of weird with the combination of the long barrel and the gung ho. But use it to your, towards your advantage because it's going to get you like a bunch of free kills out of nowhere. So perk number one, you can have scavenger or whatever you want, but I personally have scavenger. Perk number three, I have dead silence, but you guys can personally have whatever you want. Uh, I mostly require, you know, dead silence because people have headsets nowadays and they're using it towards, you know, 
listening to your towards your footsteps and they all automatically like turn do a 180 and they just kill you right away it's quite annoying so i started i'm starting to use mostly dead silence in all my weapons and classes because uh it's annoying when people have so expensive gadgets and just they can just hear you like from a mile away so that is it guys that's my best class setup for the rampart 17 make sure you go try it out and if you guys do make sure you to tell me you know how much how many kills have you dropped with it you know i'm pretty sure you guys gonna dominate from right now like from this point on the rampart is gonna live in your home and it's gonna be the piecing it up out there for you so go use this weapon right now go use it out there and tell me how many kills you get with it so that is it guys make sure you leave a like on the video ask me any questions you guys got any more scrolls or complaints leave it in the comment section i'll read them later so that is it. Subscribe for more. You guys want to see more Call of Duty Black Ops 4.